So that was a that was a good situation. That was a that was a good uh, uh, example of a close call. Okay, so let's get back to the very beginning of it. All right, so we have a ton of vehicles lined up. Okay, we have a ton of vehicles lined up. Now, why are they lined up? Well, they're lined up for this arrow. Okay, so they're they're turning right. Okay, so if you're turning right, that means there's an intersection coming up. That means we have people that could be coming. Either or, I don't know which way. I can't see very well. We have good lane position to where we can see around. So lane position three, you notice how we can see at least this much. Okay, so that's still better than if we were in lane position one and a half and all we saw was the back of this vehicle. So that's the biggest concern when it comes to uh, lane positioning is we want to be able to see, remember that? So good lane position right here, we can see around. Now, what we're doing here is is it's not about being impatient. It's about you know positioning ourselves for safety again is that he's going to want to come into this lane. Now, when it comes to doing that, he's going to have to check his mirror. He's going to do a head check. He's going to look around. He's going to accelerate. He's going to move. He's going to do a bunch of different things. And it's like, why are we adding all these new things to what we have to do right when there's an intersection coming up? You know, why, why are we doing that when there's an intersection coming up? How about we just stay in this lane, maybe roll off the throttle a little bit so that we increase the space cushion between me and this vehicle. That way I have better vision, better space cushion, better escape paths. And I just kind of stay in my lane. And then after the intersection, when it, we, I, I remove that factor from this whole situation, now I move over. I don't like to switch lanes right before an intersection. I really don't like doing that. I'll stay in my lane. I'll lock in. That way I don't confuse any drivers. That way the driver, if they do see me for whatever reason, they know that is where I'm going to be and they can make a judgment call based off of that versus me switching a lane last second and they're looking the other way because they assume I was already in this lane and then they decided to go. You see what I mean there? So I'd rather make my choices after the intersection, but if I'm still concerned about line of sight, still concerned about all those things when it comes to planning my ride, what I'll do is I'll just increase the space cushion right there by decelerating just a little bit. That's it. That's all I'll do. And then after the intersection, I'll go. So right here, we made a judgment call to switch lanes. And maybe this driver that is, is starting to poke out a little bit saw that there was nobody in this lane and is like, oh, I'm going to turn into the first available lane and then they're going to do it. Maybe that's what they thought. Um, or they didn't think any of that and they can't see us very well because we're such a tiny little target. So I don't know why we're looking left. I'm a, I, I'm going to guess he's got friends behind him. He's, he does have that like Elmo or fuzzy helmet. So maybe he's having a good time with some friends. He does have Woody from Toy Story. Maybe Buzz Lightyear fell off and he's looking back. But the thing is, we shouldn't be looking at the mirrors right now. We have hazards in front of us. And it's like, well, you don't he doesn't know that there's hazards in front of us. It's he should have known because we have this lane over here on the right that is a turn right lane that means there's an intersection. So we can keep going until the moment of impact or the moment of close call and be like, well, he would never have known that happened. It's like, well, let's go ahead and go backwards and backwards and backwards and backwards. It's like, well, this was the pattern. This was the pattern. This was the pattern in this different situation. These frames, these are all different patterns. And it's like, yeah, he should have known. It's like, oh, well, you can't put that on somebody. It's like, no, I can because I do that. Now, it's up to you if you want to because, once again, this is his emergency, not mine. I'm just trying to talk to you and help you out. So for those of you that want to learn and listen, please do so. Join the Discord, like it says on the top right. Hit subscribe, be a, uh, become a member, join, do all these different things, help out the channel. So right. we have somebody side of the vehicle right there, okay? So side of the vehicle is definitely going to be a path of travel violation. It's like, where is he going to go? First available lane. Okay, well, I can escape back in this lane. What is this guy doing? Applying the brakes? Oh, crap. We're in a very just bad, bad, bad situation. So what do we do here? You just find the best out of the best out of the best. Position yourself for safety. Okay, we got lane position one, two, and three. One, two, three. What do we do? I'm going to be right there. This is my space that I like. I'm going to be right there. Whatever that is. I can go back, forth, back and forth, back and forth, whatever I want to do. But what I do know is that I need to have something right there so I don't hit anybody. How do I get there? I could accelerate and then go if I felt like that was the best option. I can decelerate and wait until this guy goes further and then I can go. There's multiple options. The main thing that you need to really focus on and be very aware of, just position yourself right now 
for the best position for safety. Okay, lane position three is not because you can't escape to the right. You got to escape really far to the left to dodge this person. Lane position one gives you the least amount of having to do any movement. You can barely move to the left. That's fine. You can accelerate and go this way. You don't want to go right at all, so that's not even an option. But this is the best lane position for this situation, and it's all based off of I want to stay from away from him. I want to stay away from him. I want to stay away from him. I want to stay away from anything that's going to give me cooties. And that's just as simple as that. So you constantly variate your speed, position yourself for safety, guys. Lane position one. And then, and then right here, we have another possible hazard right there, side of the vehicle. Didn't move out of the way, so it never became a hazard. I said possible hazard. What's up, Justin? How you doing, baby?